Hello, here we're looking at the posterior view of a specimen that comprises the trachea, uh, the left and right main bronchi, and part of the right lung. When I turn this specimen around, we can actually see anteriorly, this is the thyroid gland, these are the mediastinal structures, and this is the right lung. So the main pathology is actually here, we can see a hilar tumor that is uh, very irregular and it's clearly infiltrating into the lung parenchyma. Let's take a closer look. The cut surface of this tumor appears tan. It is quite fleshy. It is fairly homogeneous and clearly it is sending these irregular kind of uh, extensions into the lung parenchyma. In addition, we can see that this being the right main bronchus, that it involves the mucosa of the right main bronchus. So if we were to do a bronchoscopy and take a little sample or a brushing of the cells on the surface here, we may actually see malignant cells. Similarly, if we were to take a sputum sample from this patient, we may also see malignant cells in the sputum. The lung parenchyma itself appears fairly dark and this could indicate a history of smoking. In addition to the main tumor mass, we can also see here and here presence of paratracheal lymph nodes. So these lymph nodes are very abnormal because we no longer see the nice um, structure or outline of individual nodes. So this probably represents a bunch of matted lymph nodes and you can see the cut surface looks very similar to the primary tumor. So most likely these lymph nodes are involved by metastatic carcinoma. Now of the histological types of lung carcinoma, usually in most instances small cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma are more likely to occur in this region centrally. However, sometimes adenocarcinoma can also occur here. Adenocarcinomas tend to be more likely to occur peripherally, but as mentioned, they can sometimes be central as well. So in summary, we have an irregular fleshy tumor infiltrating into the lung parenchyma and also involving the right main bronchus with associated involved lymph nodes.